Welcome back to part two. Well, I'm just doing a dry fit here of parts. Now, the tower is just a dry fit, and there's still another three levels to go on the top of that tower, but it looks awesome. Um, I did lay a bit of blue down, um, try not to be too shaky, onto the top deck and I have painted the deck, deck tan, I've yet to do the sides of course, now, I wonder if you can see that, there we go, I have drilled out all the portholes and I must admit it turned out pretty good I'm really quite happy with that that is preparation of my LED lights now I don't know if I'm actually going to do oh gee big finger there all those ones that are on the hole itself but the more I think about it the more I'm inclined to. There is a product out there that you can, I think it's crystal windows or whatever it's called, where you apply with a toothpick into the hole and it forms a, a, a window. So I'll be giving that a go. Um, keep it in mind, I do remote want to remote control it. Um, also, I don't know if you can see that. Or it's back. That's the um, the quads. Now I did stuff up the first one severely, and I managed to save this one. Uh, is that a bit too close? I don't know. But that was mind-boggling hard. Um. It is very, very tiny. But anyway, like I said, that was very hard to do. Now, I have been online to have a look at what's on the market out there, and I have found a company called, I think it's called P Plastics. And basically, they make these out of um, what do I call it, uh, not, not resin, but, um, three-dimensional, uh, photocopying new stuff that they do these days, try to get the right terminology, but I'll get there sooner or later now. They cost around about $7 for four of these, and considering... I do want it to be on the water and these are ever so fragile I'm a bit worried that as soon as a drop of water or anything hits it will damage it so I just don't know whether I'm going to I'll give it a go and finish them off and, and see how they turn out but if they don't turn out as good as what I hoped them to, um, I probably will spend the money and buy the quads that actually are a lot stronger and have way a lot more detail than what these quads have. Having said that too, they do make it for the single guns that go on the side of the main turrets, which go there. And those little holes, I'm not sure if you can see those little holes, they go in there, one on either side, so they make them as well. And the double and the double guns, they do the same too. So for a mere $50 to have them all made out of high resolution plastic, 
and um, strong ass. I might think it might be well worth the cost. But right now, that's just a thought. And as um, my wife keeps saying to me, uh, the cost of this ship is going way out of control. But like I said, I'm willing to wait for these things to come along. So we'll see how we go. Okay, another thing is, I was supposed to make this way back in step six. I put it off because I don't have a PE bender. Now I'm watching a gentleman in Canada and he gave me a great idea with a pair of long nose pliers. Um, I'll have to try and get the yeah, I'm going to try and get the grinder to them and grind the teeth off both sides and see if that will come up nice and tight so I can actually bend these parts here to make that part there which is basically the plane launcher so that'll be happening if it works otherwise I'll have to wait to get my PE bender but that's been put off of the back to the back burner for the time being um, I really don't want to break that or do any damage that I can't have it on there it does look really quite smart um, basically the guns are pretty well done I'm thinking about painting these side bits the dark blue that I have and doing a bit of a French flag across the main turret just on the back part here so I really don't want to glue any PE or anything because I basically use um, blue tack as my um, woven tape just to tape it off and I, I really don't want it to be damaged, nor the guns. Now, they're the guns I was talking about. They they also sell. Um, even these these ones are pretty good. I might just leave them alone. But um, that's basically that part there. Now we're off to the next page, which is page eleven, or step eleven. Now I have the life rafts to make. Get it out of the sun. There we go. All right. It's quite a few of these uh, with a bit of PE on the bottom on some of them. And um, basically, I just don't have the blue for the hole, and I don't want to glue them together as I want to paint all the holes differently and then paint the tops differently at the same time. So I do have the paints to paint them up on the top and I'll probably do that in the next couple of days and um, we'll see how we go for those but like I said I don't have the the, the French blue that I want to uh, paint the holes with my next step after that is actually the part that actually sits uh, there's a full assembly of it there it actually sits on top of the main superstructure. So um, you know, that part there has got a little tiny bit of PE, which turns out like that. A bit of a radar thing. Um, so basically I, I, I will make that over the next few hours. Um, paint it. Um, and put it aside uh, for another day in a box so I don't want to break anything on that whatsoever so um, let's get the parts out and give it a go okay now we have press B and we need B21 
Both those two there I've cheated. Um, that's that little part there that I've glued together. And I've got a bit of P in here, which I will give it a go. Um, I'll just make these parts up first. And I will go to my toolbox and see if I've got a socket that I can actually wrap that around and form it and glue it on. Okay. Well, I nearly did a boo-boo. I was going to put that onto that like that and glue it on, but luckily I read the instructions and that does not go like that. So that can come off. Now this actually goes like that and this facing upwards goes on to the top of that like that. Ooh, okay. Now this is where the fun begins. This is where I like to use my review nozzle glue. Come on, where'd you go? Now I do clean these with my trusty little Jim mind boggling. I can't think of the word. File, that's it. Now that whoa, hey. Only wait a couple of seconds for the glue to start taking. You know what? Nope. Let's place this. Oh. I don't have my extra light on right now. There you go. That goes in like that. Put that aside. Okay, cut some more pieces here for these pieces here. I'm just going to wait for all this to glue before I even try the PE. Can you see that? Yep. Okay, cut these pieces out now. These ones, well, that's all that. But that's next. Okay. Now, it's getting a little bit dark out here. It looks like we're gonna get rain, yay. Now, I've put the base and the, the, um, I know, the radar main part onto, you know, clipped in. So literally, I'm just not gonna even try to remove it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, Side, let that glue. Now I have. I'm not even going to try and lift it. What does it look like to you guys? Tiny. Now, these here one, two, three are the pieces. Correspond to those absolutely tiny, 
that that's in our right now we'll look for the ladders and that part there the railing is apparently um, I have to install that first before I even put the ladders on and then we go to the next level here and do those bits as well so this B45 this B45 and that is B44 so and that's the next bit for that as well so that's a whole that goes on top of that that goes on top of that interesting well did you see that yeah so basically one two three makes up the whole thing is there anything nope so that'll be interesting so um i'll go back when i've cut more pieces up and um glue them together and see how we go okay Bring up those little parts here Now before, my last piece, the first piece I did, I actually sort of did it flat across there. And I think I removed a little bit, fractionally a little bit too much plastic. So now I'm just doing the area that needs to be sanded. I don't know why I keep doing that every time I blow it, it goes back into my mouth and the taste of plastic is terrible. But I guess you get that. <laughs> and I did it again. Oh, what a joke. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's all I need. I'll tell you, you put too much glue on it then. Just let that glue and be back in a little while when that's all dried, I guess. Look for the PE next. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, that little tiny piece there is glued. And that sits on top of the aerial. Um, I will put that well aside. Let that dry properly. And um, on to the next piece of PA. Okay. First bit of PA successfully put on. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it wasn't too bad. Orientation wise, a little bit out, but. Unless you're going to like go look right at it, you're not going to notice the difference. But anyway, I'm pretty wrapped. First one out of many. Keep going. Well, I did a lot of this off the camera because basically it was all thumbs and fingers on the screen. Um, it is 
Tamiya bottle is actually bigger. I actually thought it went on the superstructure, but it doesn't. It goes on the, the rear uh, structure. So the one for the front one is, oh, here we go, the mask that goes on top of my radar assembly. I've got a lovely little ladder that goes all the way along. And the little part that was supposed to go on the top fell apart on me. And my son tried to help me and mangulated it a bit. So I have to re straighten that out. And I think I have to get a better quality super glue to make that more instant. I really have a hard time getting that on. If not, thinking about um, grabbing a piece of uh, mesh, brass etching mesh that I've got and making a conventional dish radar and plonking it there instead. I'll know the difference, but no one else will. So we'll see how that goes and um, see you next video. Thank you. Bye.